Hello, my name is Patelis Kazaras and I'm the coordinator of Senior Life and Alumni at Perotis College. Hello, my name is Theodos Tashios and I am a career and student service counselor at Perotis College. Hi everyone, my name is Kate Dietrich Mannion and I am the Student Life and College Counseling Fellow for the American Farm School. Hi, my name is Liana McCallum and the Perotis College Student Life and Arcadia Fellow. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about consent and how the project was for our Perotis College students. But first of all, let us tell you who we are. Uh, the Perotis College is located in Thessaloniki, Greece. It was established in 1996 as a division of the American Farm School. It offers studies in the agri-food sector, food science and technology, and environmental science. Uh, also, uh, we, the Student Service Center, offers higher education student affairs in bachelor's and master programs, as the college offers. The Student Service Center is an important resource for students. They're, they navigate their academic and personal lives and is devoted to helping the young men and women of Perotis College by providing the guidance and support services required to help them excel in their studies, extracurricular pursuits, and contribution to the community. Students can take the advantage of many different services provided by the Student Service Center. Student Life staff organize a variety of uh, clubs, activities, excursions, which are available to all Perotis students. All paid work and work service <clears throat> positions are organized by the Student Service Center in cooperation with the college administration and faculty. Additionally, students can seek out career and graduate assistance, advising to assist them with uh, uh, CVs, resume writing, job searching, graduate application advising, etc. Also, residence life is designed to be a positive and educational experience in a comfortable, modern, sweet style residence hall that encourages personal and social development, as well as respect for cultural diversity. Students who live on campus develop a close-knit community spirit through various activities and inclusions. We also offer career and graduate advising. The alumni office aims to strengthen the ties of graduates with the institution and with each other, encouraging them to stay connected and engaged with the cooperative college community. Also, we offer all medical services with doctors and school psychologists 24-7. Now, I would like to give the floor to Theodosis to talk to to start talking about consent. Rossi? Thank you, Padeli. Consent is always an important topic for uh, communities and many disciplines, such as medicine, social sciences, digital services, etc. Uh, each year, Perotis College Student Service Center uh, organizes a lot of activities about social and soft skills, uh, such as seminars about consent. Uh, each academic year, we are trying to organize something new something special. Uh, for this academic year, uh, based on educational principles of experiential learning and uh, learning styles, visual, auditory, etc., uh, we wanted to organize consent workshop series. Uh, just to mention uh, that uh, an example for a visual learning style is uh, if somebody learn by reading or seeing pictures more easily. Uh, or for an auditory learner, uh, if somebody is an auditory learner, can learn by hearing and listening more easily. Uh, so uh, we wanted to start Consent Corps series. And uh, first of all, uh, to begin a conversation with college students on the complicated and uh, that uh, topic. First of all, we want to define what consent is and what it's not to provide some examples. And um, what we, uh, we decide to do uh, was to create our own video uh, with our students as actors. With this way, some students uh, will experience giving consent, asking for consent. In addition, Perutis College students who will watch our video probably will pay more attention because they will see familiar faces such as friends, mentors, and of course, familiar places. 
So for our process, um, as we were gathering resources on our consent workshop series, we stumbled across the video, Two Minutes Will Change the Way You Think About Consent by Campus Clarity. Um, this video uses mobile phones as a metaphor for consent, uh, with one main character going around to different individuals and asking or not asking to borrow their phone. Uh, we thought that this video was a fantastic way to get through to students as just about everybody has a mobile phone. And in our culturally diverse community, it was something that everybody could understand and relate to. We gathered video participants by starting with our RAs and peer learning mentors, as they had already had some training in gender inclusivity and were a little bit familiar with the topic. From there, we ended up recruiting about 10 to 14 students who participated in our video, um, and we drew from all across our diverse student community. Um, as we filmed the video over the course of two days, we edited it in the following week, and we premiered it at our first workshop, followed by an in-depth discussion of the topics to make sure that everybody had fully understood um, what we were discussing. And our turnout was really great. We even had a bunch of campus administrators come to the presentation, which was really wonderful. Um, we can't show you the whole video today as it's about four minutes in total, um, but we are going to show you a short 45 second clip from the ending where we have each one of our participants go over the principles of consent that they learned. So what have I learned today? I learned that consent can now be taken by force or coercion. Must be given in a free and clear mind. Must be communicated clearly. Cannot be given on behalf of someone else. Can be taken back any time. Is renegotiated each time. Is an active process between two people. For more information on consent, stop by the Student Services Center office here at Harrison College of the American Heart School. Okay, so some of our student feedback that we received and key takeaways. Um, as we mentioned before, for a lot of our students, this was their first introduction to the topic of consent. Um, they might have, you know, read something here and there on the internet, but as far as a formalized structured topic, this was their first conversation. Um, for our Paratees College students, we were able to go in depth with you know, different scenarios, different definitions, um, and it was really successful. But for our high school students at the American Farm School, we gave a brief overview. We didn't go into too much detail because they are high schoolers, but um, a certain group, Steady USA, will be attending college in the United States. So we wanted to give them a taste of what they'll be learning more about when they get there. Um, by the end of the presentation, our students were able to not only define, but understand what consent is um, as an open and ongoing communication between two people. Um, when using the video, you know, the students said they were able to have a fun way of being introduced to the topic. And the video provided them with a sense of security because you know, not everyone is an expert on this topic, but they were able to see familiar faces, be with their peers, and feel comfortable enough to explore and question what they already knew and what they didn't know about consent. Um, and then to paraphrase a student, consent is more than just accepting the terms and conditions box. It's about understanding them too. And that came from one of our third year students. Um, and so that concludes our presentation on our consent project. Uh, we do thank you for your time and your consideration into learning more about what we did. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.